Ken Whiting with Paddle TV and in this video I am testing out whoo, the Gear Lab Outdoors I pick Greenland Paddle or Ninja Stick. Oh, I wish you could reach through your device and grab this thing and feel what I feel because this thing is ridiculously light. It is so light, but not only is it light, it just feels so wonderful. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm going into a bit of the review of it, but I'm not just going to review this paddle. I'm going to talk about Greenland paddling as well. Now, I reviewed Gear Lab Outdoors Calic paddle last year and that was the first time I'd ever tried a Greenland paddle. It was a uh, surprising experience on a couple of different levels. First of all, I was blown away by the Calic paddle, just how beautifully it was made, how wonderful it felt in my hands. But the second part of that is I was really blown away by how different the Greenland paddling experience was from traditional Euro blades. I figured that with you know the paddling background I have, the number of years I have, I could grab a Greenland paddle and get used to it very quickly. That wasn't the case at all. It took a while for me to get comfortable with it and even still now that I've been paddling casually with a Greenland paddle for a year now, I still, I wouldn't say that I'm overly comfortable with it. I'm not a, a very competent Greenland paddle paddler. And that's because it really is a different technique involved with paddling with one of these things. If you're moving back and forth between a Euro style blade and a Greenland blade, it's hard to get into the groove and really get comfortable with this style of paddling. And so, you know, I think that's one thing that to talk about right away and what I wanted to mention is that this is a kind of the Greenland paddle is the kind of paddle that you kind of need to commit to. If you like the feel of, of a Greenland paddle, like the idea behind them, then go for it and stick with it and know that it's going to feel a little uncomfortable maybe. Not uncomfortable, that's not the right word because it's not a comfort, it's uh, confidence. It's, you're actually, that's really what I found is I, I didn't have the same confidence with it right out of the gates that I did with the Euro style blade until I started to get confidence with time on the water. Why? Why is that the case? Why is this thing difficult or maybe not difficult? Why does it take time to uh, get comfortable with? And the reason is, is because you can't use it the same way. You can't just pull water with this paddle and move forward with like you can with a, a standard Euro style blade. Euro style blades are concave. They're designed to grab water and pull a lot of water through uh, or pull yourself past a lot of, of water. And they're designed to, when you're doing that, to be very still, not to flutter. Now, these paddles are not designed in that same way. What these paddles are designed for, are they're designed to, instead of catch a, a single chunk of water in one place really well, they're designed to distribute that catch over a big area. And that reduces the impact of each stroke on the body. And that lets you paddle with less impact for longer over a long day of paddling. I didn't know if I was actually gonna feel that but I absolutely, on some long paddles, I just spent a couple of days paddling with this specific paddle uh, down in Alabama on Lake Gunnersville. Big lake. We covered some, a lot of water. It was really nice. I, I, I definitely noticed less fatigue at the end of the day. So it does, it does the job. For me though, and again, maybe this is a symptom of not committing to this type of paddle, but I haven't got the confidence or the comfort with this paddle to take it into rough conditions and to be comfortable doing that. I, I don't know if I ever will. I still really like a Euro style blade for the rough stuff, for ocean surf, for current, whitewater, for anything that requires confidence. If you spend a lot of time with this paddle, I'm sure you can get there. People argue that it, all sorts of things, the people who love Greenland paddles love them. 
and say that they are do anything that a Euro style blade does just as well. I wouldn't agree with that. I don't think that's true about anything in this world. Everything has pros and cons. Everything has strengths and weaknesses. And to say that this thing is is stronger in all areas than a Euro style blade, well, in my opinion, that's just being hard headed. Uh, it, it's not accurate. That's not taken away from a, a Greenland paddle whatsoever. These things really are beautiful. Now I'm going to start by giving you the details about this paddle specifically. The Gear Lab Outdoors I Pick Greenland Paddle retails for 528 US dollars. It's 219 centimeters long. It has a loom length of 57 centimeters, a blade width of 8.8 .8 centimeters, and a weight of 595 grams. What? The IPEC has Gear Lab's first oval shaped and shouldered loom. It's made with a unique 3D carbon wrapping construction with continuous strands of aero grade carbon fiber. The blades are 1.1 millimeters sharp. Ow! That's sharp. And a metal free carbon spring joins the two piece paddle securely together. For durability, it has replaceable tips on the blades, which are attached with rust-proof titanium screws. Well, I'll tell you right away, this is going to be a pretty quick gear review because there aren't that many things to talk about with a paddle, but let's dive right into it. The loom itself here, the oval-shaped loom is a really nice touch. It really makes sure that the, you, you get a sense for the direction, the angle of the blades as you're paddling without having to look at them. And that's nice because the angle of your blades in the water is key for a Greenland paddle. Now, new uh, as well with the iPick is this shouldered loom, this step up right here. That is actually, for me, that's really nice. One of my challenges with the Calic paddle, which didn't have that, was hand positioning. Now, they have some dots on here to be able to identify where your hands are, and the Calic had that as well, but still, I would find myself being off center uh, after a while paddling. And I wouldn't notice it until I took a look down and was like, oh, and I'd recenter my hands. Now I can feel where that, that paddle is, uh, how centered I am on it. And I can stay centered, which is really nice. Otherwise, I mean, 595 grams. This thing is just crazy light. And it's not just crazy light. It just feels really good in the hands. It just, it's a pleasure to paddle with even though I'm not that good of a paddler with it. Pretty much all of Gear Lab's paddles has the removable tips, which is enormous comfort when you're pad paddling with a, a paddle that costs 528 US dollars. I mean, this is, a, this is an investment and you need it to be able to last. And so these replaceable tips is just such, not a, just a good idea, but really an essential idea. Other than that, uh, it really comes down to what I was talking about before and whether the gear, uh, a Greenland paddle is the right paddle for you. And the only way to, to, to find out is to try one. And so this is not what I would call a first time user's Greenland paddle. I would highly recommend starting with one of Gear Lab's uh, much more economical Greenland paddles. Figure out if you like Greenland paddles. Even their highly economical Greenland paddles are still really nice paddles. And you know, if you end up really liking them and you have some disposable income and want to upgrade to the Mac Daddy paddle, well, then this is a really smart option. So that's all I really have to say in terms of a review of this paddle. Who's it for? Well, this is for people who know they want a high-end Greenland paddle. I wouldn't recommend it for first-time Greenland paddle users because it's a big investment to make before you know it's what you want. It's for paddlers who are going to be going on longer paddling uh, adventures. For the most part, it's for touring kayakers, people who are covering ground. It's not necessarily a great recreational paddle. Um, unless you're really into trying something different. Greenland paddles in general are who are they for? They're for people who, who want to try something new, who are experienced paddlers for the most part and want to try something different and are open to totally new paddling experiences. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, 
please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon with more paddling tips, paddling gear reviews, and paddling adventures either with a Greenland paddle or not. You can find me on the water. Who took my paddle? Oh, oh shoot. Where's my paddle? Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> Who took my paddle? Oh, there it is. Ha, ha, ha.